Good morning, everyone. All right, so it's Monday. Some of you guys have already started your first week. A lot of you guys are starting um, today, which is awesome. I want to go over uh, something I think is super important. Look at this. Look at this view. Look at this view right here. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous right here. I'm on the bay right now. What's up, Adam? Chad Pack, how are you? So look, we must talk about mind nutrition. We must talk about exercising the mind, right? I, I, so I thought it's important to go over my morning routine and what I do every morning, right? Here's my piece of paper, my little index card with all my affirmations and all my goals on it. And we've talked about this before with you guys that in order for you to change your subconscious mind, in order for you to unwind those negative thoughts and those beliefs that you've created for yourself and your subconscious your entire life, so you don't keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again, we have to start repeating the opposite. We have to write down what we want, we have to feel some emotion to what we want, then we have to repeat it often, like multiple times a day, right? That's what this piece of paper is for. You write everything down and throughout your day, you continue to feed your brain with positive things, the things that you actually want, right? Think of your, think of your, your subconscious almost like the roots of an apple tree, right? You can't see the roots, but the roots are what actually creates what you can see, the apples that are found on the tree, right? So I want you guys to kind of visualize and think of your subconscious like that because your, what you can't see will actually create what you can see, right? Your internal will create your external. So stop focusing so much on the external, right? What you, what you want, the body you want to see, right? The muscles, the, the tone, the ripped body, right? This, the weight loss or anything you want, anything you want in life. It doesn't have to be just weight loss, but most of you guys, that I'm, the people I'm speaking to right now, are, want to change your body composition. So we're not going to focus on the fat loss. We're not going to focus on the nutrition, physically putting and cooking and putting good food in your body. We're not going to focus on all that stuff because that hasn't worked for you in the past, right? We're going to focus on what you can't see, which is your mind, your thoughts. How are you speaking to yourself on a daily basis? How many negative thoughts have you put into your brain? What are you believing? These made up beliefs that you've created for yourself for your entire life. How are they affecting your actions, right? So it's important you guys have to realize that how you talk to yourself daily, right? The negative self-talk, those the subconscious that you're not even aware of are going to create your actions. So you have to understand that when you put these things on the paper, right? What I do every morning, I repeat what I want more of. I say I t I, this positive self-talk, it has to create emotion. It has to create feeling, right? Because action is created, your thoughts create a feeling. Your feeling will create an emotion. Your emotion, right, will create action. So you can't just lackadaisical body language, crap body language, say, oh, I want this, or I am powerful, or I am more confident, I am beautiful, I am whatever you want, right? Because that's the way you need to be speaking. Stand up tall and believe it, right? Because we keep talking about that recently is you guys have to, you guys are in charge of your reality, your happiness. You are the director. You are the writer, the producer of your own film, right? You, no one else can create your own reality. You do not have to accept your current reality. Let me say that again. You do not have to accept your current reality. So stop talking to yourself that way. Feed your brain positive mind nutrition, right? The nutrition of the mind and exercising the mind is the key to getting the external look that you're looking for. So this is what I do every morning. Every morning when I wake up, I have a morning routine and I go through what I want more of. And I say awesome things to myself. Like I'm so thankful for my wife 
and the support she's given me over, 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 this, over these years. I'm so thankful for the roof over my head. I'm so thankful for the incredible food I put into my body. I'm so thankful for my daughter, my father, my dad, my friends. I'm so thankful for the 200 members that I'm able to help on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. I'm so thankful I get to do what I want with my life, everything. I wake up in the morning and I help people on a daily basis. I'm so thankful to do everything uh, that I do what I, what I love. I'm so thankful that I have everything I need. I have everything that I currently need, right? Because now, if, you're, you're, if, you're, if you keep focusing on what you don't have, you're not gonna get it. I have it already. I have it already. So that's the mindset I want you to, to think about, right? I want you to see yourself already having everything you want. Visualize yourself with the body that you want and the fitting into the clothes that you want, feeling the what, how you want, the health that you want, right? You already have it because you create it. Visualize it. Remember, your reality is on you. You're in charge. This incredible mind that you have is powerful. It's super powerful, right? I think that's all I wanted to say right now, but that's my morning routine. I want you guys to have your own morning routine and write yourself down, write all your things down on an index card and keep it in your wallet or your purse or in a place that you visit, that you, that you visit often. Because so, throughout the day, negative thoughts are gonna creep in. It happens to me too. And then I flip it, I flip it. I can change my attitude quickly. Boom. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing? No, I'm doing a little Facebook Live on affirmations. Later, Jim. Have a great day, man. See you. Um, so remember, your attitude can be flipped quickly. It doesn't take anything for you to flip your attitude around, right? I lost my daggone train of thought. Um, you're in charge. Create your own reality. Um, oh yeah, write everything down on this paper and you need to repeat it often throughout the day because it, your environment will throw you off course a little bit, right? Remember that, your environment will throw you off. So it's gonna get windy at times. It's gonna get stormy at times, right? Your destination, you're driving that boat, the wind will come, that's your environment that will throw you off course. You need to get that wheel and turn it back Find the dock, right? Set the coordinates, right? So you can get to your destination. That's your goal. So don't allow the environment to sway you, but it will. And then what are you gonna do? It will happen. It's how you react to it. And then you just gotta flip the attitude around, take your, take your sheet of paper out, start reading everything that you already have, visualize it, see it, create emotion, and that will help you create action. It's not just about the law of attraction saying everything. You have to create emotion because emotion will cause action. It's the action that gets you what you want. It's not just saying it and, sit and l sitting on the couch, all right? So there's my morning routine. Every morning, read my affirmations, think positive thoughts. What am I gonna do for the day? I'm gonna change some lives. You're gonna do the same thing. Multiple times a day, you're going to re pull this out and read it. Repetition is key. Awareness, also, awareness, realizing when you are uh, talking negative to yourself, so you can flip it. So you got to be aware of your, of your self talk when you're talking negative, and then you got to flip it around because it's going to happen, especially if you've been doing it, doing it your entire life, right? So awareness is key, and then repetition. Repetition is key throughout the day, reading these things, okay? That's it. You guys have an awesome day. I'm going to have an awesome day, and I know you are too, all right? Leave some comments here if you have any questions about my morning routine or how you can create your own, all right? God, man, what a beautiful day. It's, it is gorgeous. Have a wonderful day, guys. Love you.